This video is brought to you by RogueDeckBuilder.com. Purchase a playmat today and help us make the move to our new studio. We have over 10 playmats to choose from. Visit RogueDeckBuilder.com. Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with match number 5. I'm going to do one more match just because that last match was kind of meh. Yes, we'd like to play first. This keepable hand, another exciting hand. We will go first turn planes into a soldier to pantheon we have second turn battlewise hoplite we have a stubborn denial that eventually is going to be able to counterspell a non-creature spell so he does have a temple of deceit this is gonna be an interesting match hopefully it's not another solte dredge but if it's something else this will be fresh i haven't seen like an esper control yet which i know the deck exists so we're gonna mana confluence here Go ahead and attack him with the Soldier of Pantheon. And get him down to an 18. And we'll go Battlewise Hoplite here. And from, from here on out, I most likely need to protect myself against Strand of Sorrow. So we'll need to keep the, the Stummer Denial up. Best case scenario, actually, is I draw a land next turn. And then we can... Put out another Battlewise Hoplite and then keep up the Stubborn Denial. Wrong type of land though. So it's going to be uh, Temple of Enlightenment. And we'll scry this one to the bottom. We don't need another one. We have plenty of lands now. And at this point, I kind of just want to use Launch the Fleet right now to get this Battlewise Hoplite up. So it is just one mana for... Definitely want this card on top. He knows that I'm keeping something back, though. So it's going to do 6. It's going to take him down to a, a 13. And now we can... Either Johnny's Presence, if he decides to, like, Bile Blight, the Battlewise Hoplite. Or we can Stubborn Denial, if he tries to just drown in Sorrow here. But it doesn't look like either is happening, so... Could have been a little more aggressive in... And launch the fleet in my other dude but we're fine now what we just do now is we just keep everything back and play this little tempo strategy let's wait for lag to catch up here i did click okay there let's see if it hopefully it doesn't skip my attack face there we go oh empty joe is so laggy lately uh six six damage still nothing no reaction Coolest thing about this is we get a Johnny's Presence or God Willing onto the Battle Wise Hoplite and get the Stubborn Denial up. So next turn should be just a, a very clean turn 5 kill. Unless he's got something. Yep, he's going to Bile Blight, which I'm just going to give God's Willing. Which is going to give him Pro Black. And... I highly, highly, highly doubt that he has an answer with just one blue. Swan Song's not an answer. And, oh, is that? No, that is still him. Yeah. It is. Yeah, we're definitely waiting on him. So, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he knows he's dead. So it's just a clean little turn five. And the good news is he doesn't really have a lot of answers for this type of deck. We'll bring in the Swan Songs. I think they're fine. We'll bring in Disdainful Stroke. He seems slow-ish. I don't know if we quite need Alquais form. I'm going to take him out. I didn't see enough evidence that it's good against him. Either Glimpse or Spear. You know what? Spear is actually not bad. Spear and Hall of Triumph are very good. I don't want Battlefield Thaumaturge. I think that the four cards that we don't need, it's going to be the Seeker of the Way that can come out. And two other cards can come out, which... Absolutely, well, we need Stubborn Denials back in. And we just want to be countering everything possible. So maybe I don't need these Spears or Hall. And we can get rid of the Launch the Fleets, even though this, this card's pretty good. I think we just need to hook up one guy with a lot of spells and... And then call that good. So I'm going to just take out one of Soldier of Pantheon. So we'll submit this. Again, not knowing how I feel about Soldier of Pantheon. We're going to definitely keep this. This is fine. We have a Disdainful Stroke. Which we'll be able to deal with. Hopefully any sort of large 
spell. So he's in, actually, okay, he's, he's going to be into Grixis colors. Maybe four color control. He's going to thought sees me here. Despise, which he does find the fabled hero. It's okay. I wonder if he takes the favorite hoplite. He does take the favorite hoplite, so it seems like he's got an answer for the fabled hero by that time. So we will... We oh, That was a perfect draw. We'll scry away. Nope, keep that. We definitely want a God's Willing. And I'll most likely be playing Battlewise Hoplite on... No, we'll, we'll force him to react to it. So if he wants to Bile Blight... Oh, he's got a Thought Seize now, so... Probably empty the pits, Grixis control, takes the battle wise hoplite. And now we know what we're drawing into, which isn't good. Which I think I'll just flood his strand to go get just a an island here's fine. And then we can pass a turn. And I do need to play Fabled Hero on turn four. And then protect him. <laughs> Okay, well, he's got another Thought Seize. Which gets the other Fabled Hero. That's very annoying, but he missed his Land Drop, which means he's going to have a lot of... Let's thin out our deck again. We'll grab the last... We'll grab a Plains here. So Despise Thought Seize Thought Seize. If we would have been able to go first, this would have been a totally different game, of course. Oh, gee. <laughs> Another Thought Seize. Yay. Does he have any card draw on here? Probably Treasure Cruise. But all we have to do is top deck into one land or one creature, and we're, we're pretty good. Nope. We're going to continue to draw the land. But I'm bringing back in all the one drops. And, hey, let's make it a play set of Thought Seizes. He's down to 11, though. And, but we can draw the lands like they're going out of style. There's tons of lands. I guess thinning out the lands does nothing. Um, yeah, Ashia could come out here. Still, still only three cards in his, his deck. Hey, how about another land? Treasure Cruise would be great here. For us. There's a Battlewise Hoplite. I can't even protect him. I'm just going to put him out, though. If he's got a Bile Blight, he's got a Bile Blight. Maybe I should have waited for a protection card. So it's going to be Hero's Downfall. And I'm sure this is some sort of Empty the Pits deck or Treasure Cruise deck that just gets him back in card advantage. He probably has sweepers, uh, probably four color control, maybe Karanos as the last card. So I should have waited. That was that was my stupidity right there, my greediness that threw out the hoplite. I should have waited till I could protect it. Okay, so no. As far as I know, maybe this is just blue black control. And I do need to go creature heavy, I believe. So he probably uses all of the like Pluto Deltas and whatnot to delve, I'm sure. That's gonna be a great card to pick up, this disdainful stroke, because he does try to like end a turn here, empty the pits, we just counter it. And now if we have a creature, we can really protect it. With Feet of Resistance of Johnny's Presence. Another temple, though. Guess we still need lands for casting our Emerald Cool when we draw into it. Put that on the bottom. At this point, we need a creature. He's going to crack this polluted delta. No, he does not. wonder what his finisher is. I wonder if he's just waiting for Ashiok. Swan Song, something I can counter anything now again. Not a Planeswalker or a creature, but we can counter anything else. But again, he's just going to fill up his hand.
And we'll continue to draw lands. We have 11 left in our 38 card deck. Six cards in his hand. There's a stubborn denial. Well, he's going to be discarding here if uh, next turn he does not draw into it. Um, we're going to do it. Battle West Hoplite. And I'm sure he's going to try to kill it. With, I'm sure that's what, I'm sure that's what he has in his hand. Like everything in his hand is probably a removal. So Murderous Cut will feed a resistance it. Ooh, we could actually have a nice little back and forth interaction here. Now, Feed of Resistant gets it above to where now we can swamp, we can stubborn denial something. So we do get a scry. And he's going to Bile Blight, which means we can Johnny's Presence it. Or I think we just swan song it here. And so scry. He's going to delve now to cast the other murderous cut, which now we have to give it indestructibility. So we get to scry again. I don't think we have any. We'll put that on top. That's fine. And now we get indestructible. And now disdainful stroke and stubborn denial are active. Again, put this on top. That's a good card. But he still could have plenty of removal. If they're drowned in sorrows, though, Then, yeah, if the Drowned Stars are Bile Blight, we're fine. Tagging this bird, huh? So he's pretty confident he can kill my Hoplite. He's going to Hero's Downfall, which we will Stubborn Denial. But if he has one more Heroes Downfall or a Murderous Cut. Come on, be four mana. It is going to be a four mana spell, which we can Disdainful Stroke it. Which, does he have something in his hand, in his, his three card hand <laughs> left to do? Ay, yeah, yeah. It does appear like he does. And he's got a negate. Ah. So it came to way too many lands drawn on our part. He's down to one card now, though. So we're back to square one. What is How does he finish? He finishes me now with my own bird token? I guess it should have waited until he started to have to discard cards. Yeah, that's. I guess that will be game number two. Uh, if he's going to play zero cards ways to kill me maybe besides I, it's got to be ashiok is my only guess but we'll soldier the pantheon here this is kind of a weak guy if he wants to kill it i, I think i'll let him because there's so many things like bile blights that can do it Keeping the bird back. There's a swan song. And we'll keep our guy back as well.
and there's Ashiok. So I can't counter an enchantment instead of sorcery. So that is his win con. It's just going to be an Ashiok stall deck. See what he finds with Ashiok. And now he's going to find my Brahmas, probably. He finds a battle, Battlewise Hoplite and gets rid of, hopefully, land land. We'll see here. No, God's willing, an island. So, one land. But I believe we will attack into him. I hate to do a feat of resistance on my Soldier of Pantheon. But it will buy a blight, and here comes this nonsense again. Whoops, that doesn't work. That does not work. We have to swan song it. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, Johnny's I wouldn't give him big enough, so he can he can murder us cut here. At least that takes care of. Yeah, geez, that takes care of some cards. Out of his hand, but it's gonna be Ashiok. That is going to... Maybe I should have countered my own. Now he finds a fabled hero. And, and more lands. So... Two cards still in hand. We have a favored hoplite. That's not going to do much. I think Negate might actually want to be in this deck as well in the sideboard. Ashiok is getting very, very deadly at this point. Does he keep milling? That's the the question. He's gonna drown in sorrow. That's fine. Expected that card to be in there. And can continue to mill me. There's a planes. Exactly what we wanted. And not many lands left in the deck. But Divination is going to fill him back up on removal, I'm sure. Finds another card. I mean, I don't think I can actually draw into... There's a hero. We'll play it. But with the three cards left in his hand, you got to think that they're going to be even more removal. He's out of murderous cuts, though. I think that's four murderous cuts he's used. He exiles hand, finds a swan song, his Ashiok's down to a one, and then Drown in Sorrow takes care of that. So it's Briamaz I want to hit into. And another Divination. So, Ashok's the only win condition in this entire deck? What happens if I, yeah, side in the gates and just counterspill Ashok's? Oh, there we go. It's a Jarabi Merc Lurker is his other win con. Temple of Enlightenment, that's going to find me nothing. Put that on the bottom. I don't know how much bottom is left. I guess it doesn't even matter. Ashok can, uh... Plus up here. Finds another creature. That might be all of my creatures. And you know what? We're just going to go on to the next. I'm not going to waste any more time. Um, we will... Drowned Sorrows can kill Soldier Pantheons, but I think Soldiers are great in this 
Launch the fleet, maybe not so much. Spear of Helio, does that get us over? Yes, it does. It gets us over a lot of obnoxious... Uh, we absolutely don't need aqueous forms. And, oh, okay, it reset my sideboard because I had to reconnect. So we're, we'll bring in back the counter magics, the swan songs. Does, yeah, swan song's still really good versus him. Thaumaturge doesn't need to happen. Glimpse of the Sun God, no. Ordeal of Helio, no. Launch the fleet is, is definitely okay. Um, Seek of the Way is fine. Hero of Irios is fine. Bermaz is very good. Feed of Resistance, God's Willing, Trinkle Cove. So what are what's the cut cards here? Maybe I want these Hall of Triumphs to hit because then we're out of his Drown in Sorrow. But it might not be enough. I don't think it is. So we'll cut him. And soldiers, soldiers don't actually seem like they can do enough with with cards like Bile Blight. So I'm going to cut these, but now we're down to 16 creatures. Yep, we just need to get a creature out and protect. I'm going to submit this. Okay, so yes, we have to play first. Uh, unfortunately, we have to mulligan this. And we're going to have to mulligan this. Well, we have time. We have time to hit our natural land drops and then just set it up. I'm going to submit mulligan, though. And unfortunately, it just keeps getting worse and worse. So we'll play the Flooded Strand, pass the turn. Two lands is a keepable hand in this deck. One land is not. And th I, he has Despise and Thossies. I completely forgot about those. That's probably going to be pretty much game. Probably should have... No, I think still on the on the play is the right way to go. You can only take a Battlewise Hoplite, so take it. And... Now we have to draw into, like, runner, 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 runner. There's our lands. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this. And, uh, no, I'm not, because we don't know what we need yet. Because we would need another white for, like, a, a Brimaz. We'll favor Hoplite here. See if you Bile Blights. He doesn't. There we go. We actually have a board presence here. If he tries Ashok, we'll, we'll counter it. He won't be stupid enough to... He knows I have Stubborn Denial, so he won't just like throw out an Ashok here, will he? Bile Blight. Well, he's going to go for that. So we're going to sacrifice this to go get, unfortunately, a White Source. We need to keep this alive. Maybe he's baiting it out to get the Ashiok. And then this gets him protection from black. And I am going to put this guy... <sighs> Can't cast him and put him on bottom. I hate doing that, though. So we need to hit into a blue, but a blue at this point is not even that great. Hey, there we go. So we'll attack in with the favorite hoplite. But he's not big enough to really matter at this point. So Radiant Fountain. He gains life. And if he's got any sort of creature move, he can actually kill it off. And I can't pay both. So unfortunately, that's going to go down. And now we're back into top deck mode. We find the, the island now. But Severn Denial is really... Yep, negates, negates need to come in. I think that they are more consistent than maybe Stubborn Denial. Maybe like a, a mix of each. But it's just gonna, this is just going to end up being the last game where he's going to draw into... Answer, answer, answer from Mike. My, my creatures, especially with divinations. Maybe Tormod's Crypts are nice for these type of matchups, but... Johnny's Presence is bad. Again, it seemed like he only had one Ashiok, though. 
Hope he draws into despises now. Come on, despise, despise. It's gonna be Thossies. Sure. And another divination to get him back up. Ordeal of Thassa's no good. And eventually he's going to have his other win condition, I guess, was empty the pits. I'm sure. But is it really just a one of Ashiok as the win con? Well, we keep hitting land drops. So that's not good. Put that on the bottom. It's going to be a while before we cast anything. There's another island. Not having problems getting lands after the mulligans. There's the Ashiok. There's nothing I can do against Ashiok. She's going to find all of my creatures now. No, she does not. So it helps me get to three cards that I hate, absolutely do not want. But four cards in his hand, no way for us to actually, um, <laughs> no way for us to actually protect. Well, now we do with the gods willing. And there he finds, finds my seller, uh, seeker. Seeker's actually quite weak, but he's going to take gods willing here. And now I can't protect my guy. I'm sure he's got another thought sees. Doesn't matter, I get a land. This is game, there's no way I can come back from this. Um, he's got way too much stuff. And it wouldn't matter anyway, as I'm going to be drawing. He's Ashtar's going to be hitting perfectly, and I'm going to be drawing into lands from here on out. Uh, Brahmat, yep, even Temple of Enlightenment looks like will be the, the card after I get milled again. So I draw the planes here, then the Temple of Enlightenment. And again, this matchup is pretty, pretty easy if I first turn can just get out something or second turn and have lands protect it. It's just the shenanigans where the Mulligan to 5 killed me on this match. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these matches though. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.